Hi everybody and welcome to The Good Woo. So the videos that you're watching are going to be divided into two groups. The first group is Spirithood, where I will be sharing the pro tips and spiritual hacks I've learned along the way to fill your toolbox. And the next group is Mood School. This is where I will be sharing what I've learned about emotional mastery and how we can use our feelings, our emotions, and our thoughts to not only heal the past, but to create the future of our dreams. So this next video is a part of Mood School. I hope you enjoy it. Hi everybody and welcome to The Good Woo. So this is a controversial topic, but what's not controversial at the moment? Not a whole lot, so let's just jump in. So the idea that we create our own reality is something that quantum physics has proven. And when we start working with this idea, it allows us to truly take power and sovereignty over our lives. Now, there's places where it's easier to do this and other places where it's it's uncomprehensible. And and I I work with this idea and there are areas where I'm like, okay, if I created this, this was horrible. How, why would I how, why would anybody create this? So it really forces you to go high in your perspective, a super high perspective like that eagle medicine that I've been talking about in some of these videos. Really being able to detach all your sort of ego and the meaning that we put on everything, every little thing, sort of let go of it to see this higher perspective. So when we're working with this concept and we're working with this pandemic that we're in, the question is, why did you create this in your life? Can you see why you needed this to happen to improve your relationships or truly commit to doing something you love and perhaps leave a job you didn't like or get out of a relationship that wasn't healthy or change your diet. You know, one of the things, <laughs> one of the things I, as I work with this concept, because it can be fun if we allow it to be, and one thing is like butter. You can't really find butter where I'm at right now. And But I have a lot of olive oil. And I was like, interesting. Here is a place where I can sort of be curious and investigative and be like, maybe I'm not supposed to be eating butter anymore. Maybe olive oil is better for my body. And this is a natural occurrence of this opportunity I've created. When we look at what's happening in our life instead of why is this happening to me and really giving it like this is controlling how I feel and why did this happen, if we instead go above that and accept that we are creating our world and our life, this third dimensional life, gets better and better the more we accept this concept because the more we make this conscious, then we can be directing our thoughts to focus on that which makes us feel good. When it, this idea is still under and unconscious and subconscious, then we're just kind of creating at random, right? We're sort of like the blindfolded artist, just like da, 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 da. Instead, take the blindfold off and be like, okay, why is this present in my life right now? So interesting for me, another thing that how this has happened is like, why is this happening? Why did I create this? What are the things that I'm benefiting from that this situation created? And once you start asking this question, you guys, you're going to find more and more and more. So one of the really cool things is it's actually, even though I can't be with people, it is increasing my emotional intimacy with people. Specifically, I mean, let's, I'll be very intimate with you guys. My oldest sister, we didn't really talk that much. And now that this has happened, we're FaceTiming a lot. And there's magic to that, you know? So it took me creating a pandemic in my universe, right? Because we, we're each in our own creation. If you want to go on this train, if you want to come with me to, on this game, <laughs> When we embrace that idea, then this is gold. And yes, 
there's stress and fears and what's going to happen next. But isn't the truth that that was always a factor of what we not knowing what was going to happen next, right? <laughs> that idea of the spontaneity of the moment, well, that's always been a factor. This is not so different. So playing with this idea does another thing. As we start focusing on, well, if I created all of this, what are the benefits to it? Why did I? It allows us to then begin to create further. So you take what's positive when you see, oh, maybe this is why I did it. And you, and you go, oh, okay, so this was a message from my most authentic self, that this is what needed to happen now to get me to feel my, my best. And then you take that idea, you lean on it, and you expand on it. It's like breadcrumbs, right? We're sort of getting breadcrumbs from our most internal, authentic, highest self, whatever you want to call it. And in this time, because we're all so isolated and we have to be still and silent, we actually have the time to take this kind of curiosity that this kind of paradigm of thought creates in us and really run with it and see what happens. So this is a time of abundant creativity. On the other side of this, when the world starts to move again at a faster pace, when you play with these kind of concepts, you are going to be way ahead of the game. Because when you're connected to yourself and you take ownership of each and every part of your life, there is nothing that can stop you. There's no government, there's no restriction, there's no, you know, relationship or confinement or financial situation that can stop you from creating your best life. So it comes down to sovereignty and claiming your power. And that's what this question gives us. Now, if you're resistant to this question, just notice that. And I would encourage you to notice where in your body does that resistance sit. When I first was introduced to this concept, my entire body was resistant, felt on fire. Because if you watch my videos for Seeking the Sacred Earth, you know I had a very difficult childhood with a lot of abusive circumstances that were horrific. How could I have ever created that? How could I? So when you're thinking about situations like that, when we're children, this con this concept sort of really locks in when we come of age, right? So what happened to you when you were young and a child, not your fault, not necessarily what you're creating so in, in, that, in the same way, but once you become an adult, it is your responsibility to heal those circumstances within yourself and to then take ownership of what you put into the world, regardless of what happened to you. And that was very difficult for me because I felt, well, this awful thing happened to me. I can kind of do whatever I want. I get a free pass because look how horrible it was. It's not the case because then you start creating your own uh, pushback, so to speak. You start sabotaging your own life because once again, it's yours to create. So, I hope this is something that a lot of you can enjoy working with. If you are resistant to it, acknowledge it. See where that resistance is in your body and then give it a rest. And then come back to it in a week and see where you're at. It took me about seven years <laughs> to get to a place where I could really sink my teeth into this concept and really start taking ownership of everything that goes on and what I perceive around me and within me. So why did you create this? How are you benefiting? What is this awakening in you? And how can we give gratitude for that and lean into it? Please, if this speaks to you, please leave comments on this YouTube channel on or email me at info at thegoodwoo.org. As you guys know, I'm doing private one-on-one -on -one sessions and I'm adjusting the pay scale depending on where you're at financially because we all need support during this time. Believe me, I'm getting support places as well. Like, subscribe, send this to someone if you think that they would enjoy this. Dip into curiosity and sovereignty.
There we go. Thanks so much for viewing, everybody. Till the next time.